Welcome to Indica. Indica tells the story of a young nun who sets off on a journey of self-discovery with the most unusual companion by her side, the devil himself. Take a look, please. There's nothing to look at. Oh! Gonna give me an injection. Oh my god. I'm afraid this will happen. If we don't amputate it, you yeah, won't yeah. survive the afternoon. Oh, cut it off. Our prison doctor, he told me the same thing. Word for word. But that was over a week ago. And he didn't do anything? Sadly. The only surgical equipment he had was a was a rusty wash basin. Very funny. <laughs> all right, all right. Don't, don't worry. It should be like that. Only like that. I'm, I'm also talking to God. To God. Great. You need to get up if you don't want to lose something else to frostbite. Is that frostbite on his arm? What is that? That looks like more than frostbite. It's just rotten. Even if it does heal, I mean, it's going to be useless. Arcade style points up in the corner. What do you mean you talk to God? What? This thing is sick. Oh, my arm. You've seen my arm, yes? It's been a week or more. I doubt it. And what does God have to do with this? Well, uh, let me explain. Ever since that night, everything, every event, it all happened as I was told it would. Mm. I I'm certain. I was the only one who left that train alive. It's all going according to plan. Every fucking step is God's plan, do you understand? So taking me hostage was God's plan? I know what you're thinking. Oh. Remember the gospel? The father who gave his money to the prodigal son, not to the beloved one. The good one. To the bandit. He who'd been murdering and stealing, but came back. He came back. Do you understand? I think the Lord is happier to see to see one repentant sinner than music. A hundred thousand righteous people. I don't know. I, they don't even need repentance. Do you, do you hear me? You know, he he laid everything out before me. Spread out like a deck of cards. The past, the present, the future. Who? God, who else? I was lying there, about to die. And a sister. Just like you brought me some water in this mug. When I was drinking and I saw, I saw ripples in the water. Little round waves. And heard a whisper. So I drank. And. You heard God in a cup? <laughs> in a cup, yes. But that's, that's not the point. I'll show you when we get there. I love the music. Look, a water tower. That means the station is behind the windmill. The station? Why? We're doing fine. We've only got fuel for a couple of bursts. I won't be able to drag you around with no steam. The music in the- should go around. A nun and an officer? Who cares? But the telegraph poles. The cables are ripped out though. And the road. Doesn't look like 
like it's been used lately. It's caved in. Is there anything over there? Music is so quirky. It's like so out of place that it fits. Who the fuck would do this? It's as if they blocked the passage on purpose. The brake is rusted shut. I have to find something to get rid of the screw. God. So Good I'm you, Are we done talking? Okay. So I'm the nun. I've been taken hostage by this man who claims to talk to God, but it also said in the description that I my companion is the devil, so is he the the devil in Interesting. Why do my points look like is that health? Is that health? I also don't seem too concerned to be, like, taken hostage by this man. Who's saying he can talk to Jesus and has, like, or talk to God and has, like, a crazy rotten arm. Uh, axe? What are we looking for? Screwdriver? Oh, I'm too tall. It's a beautiful game so far. So this is also set, like, in an alternative Russia. Um, we don't quite know what the history is or what has happened. Oh. It's just a bunch of rotten food, so everyone left in a hurry. It looks like a big feast or a party was happening. I just get a sonic ring? What is this blend of like old school arcade game with like the the techno style music, the like the point system? What was that little like point ring? That's so interesting. It's a cool little mashup of like old school arcade style, like Super Nintendo style. To, like ultra HD realistic games. Uh, the life of a god pleaser, Bartholomew. Saint Bartholomew was a recluse and was so mild and pious that even wild animals were not afraid of him. He fed birds, squirrels, and snakes. Even a bear came around once in a while to snack on Bartholomew's wild strawberry jam. Once there was an argument between him and the bear that they could not resolve with words. Angered, Bartholomew struck the bear with his axe. Oh, we saw an axe outside. Seeing what he had done, Bartholomew fell to the ground and rolled around in his tears, begging God and the bear for forgiveness. Interesting. I, I leveled up my nun. <laughs> okay. Guilt. Five. Gain 75 points right now. Repentance. Every time you get points, you get a chance to get an extra 35. A chance. So it's not guaranteed. Maybe because it's just the demo. We'll just take the 75 right now. Because I don't know how long it is. And we're not exactly playing the long game in the demo, right? So we'll just rack them up. I don't know. Maybe in guilt and repentance. Maybe the line you choose has consequences as well down the line. Interesting. <laughs> I love this gla- it's so out of place that it fits. It's a really interesting- it's a really cool idea to like mix old school and new school together. 
I like it. it. Makes it super. I kind of saw the trailer to this game, and it's a really kind of a, a quirky, different, you don't expect it kind of game. So I'm interested to see what else. Oh. What else happens? I think that was it in that house. We need to get into the. Maybe there's something in that shed. Oh. Okay. 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 We gotta get. Oh, there's a window. Oh no, is that a, is that a body? Uh oh. It's a lot of Jesus. It's a painter. Oh, the life of St. John. One day, Venerable John fell into a pit. He was a God-fearing and meek monk, so he remained in the pit with humility. On the third day, John doubted himself. He had, out of cowardice, mistaken the Lord's test for his will. Should he sit at the bottom of the pit in his own filth, or climb out of the darkness and into the light? John started to pray to God, and he immediately gave John a sign. A spruce branch leaned down in the pit, uh, into the pit. John grabbed the branch and climbed out of the pit. After realizing that, in his hubris, he had been tempted by the demons. John cried. Terrified, he jumped back into the pit and prayed for God's forgiveness. God forgave John and awarded him with numerous spiritual gifts. Are these true stories? I'm sorry, I don't... Um, the Bible is not necessarily a book club I subscribe to. Um, so I don't, I don't know a lot about it. So far. Forgive my ignorance. Every time you get points, you gain an extra eight for shame. Every time you get points, you gain a chance to get a 1.46 multiplier. Let's just, let's just rack them up. Every time you get points, you get an extra eight. That's good. Shame for four. Ooh, it feels like we're picking <laughs> the sinner's route instead of, oh, grief. Hmm. We'll have to see. We've leveled up our nun! Ta-da! A little sonic coin. Oh, is that Mary? And Jesus? Okay. Is that a body? Light the light. For Jesus. Oh, and a point! Nice! Oh. oh, it's a, it's, it's a doll. It's a do li listen, we're not gonna make any comments. We're not gonna, we're not gonna kink shame people. You know, it, it looks like a lonely village. You gotta do what you can with what you have. I'm surrounded by paintings of Jesus. Okay, okay. I just, I, you know what, we should all feel so lucky to be loved to the point of needing our stitches fixed. Okay, let's just, yeah, we're not kitchen. Let's, let's just leave, pardon me, we're just leaving. Oh God, okay. Oh God, oh, my back, that hurt my ankles. Okay, the shed. She came down with a vengeance. Oh god. I told you it was a quirky game. <laughs> to each their own, you know? Live your best life, as long as you're not hurting anybody. Do your... Do your thing. Um... Did I miss something in here? Was there a key in next to the doll? No. Uh, go back up. Oh. Oh. Nice. Okay. Does that? Oh, I see. Okay. 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 Let me 
drop down. I oh, smell. my sciatica. The smell? What smell? That's a weird thing to say. The smell of a shed? Why were you in a shed? Uh, Periskiva Friday? Oh, there he is. Hello. Is that how you say that? Pavel Sergevich? Indica's father called Periskiva's a saint for girls. Perhaps because girls use the icon for fortune telling, chanting, Periskiva, Periskiva, show me the man I'll love forever. May the Lord have mercy. Yay, none points. Okay. I wonder what we do with those. Like, what is the, the point of the points? Oh, wrench. Here we go. Okay, okay, okay. We level up our faith. So? Found a wrench. Give it to me. Oh, I can't. I have to go. Do I have to put this back? I have to go. Oh, I'm going to go say hello to the doll again. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Uh, excuse me. Be beg, beg, beg your pardon. Oh god. Okay. And that's... That's it, right? I think that's it. Shouldn't we help with his arm? Like that? Oh, he's got it. Oh, my bike! Oh, oh, look, look what you've messy. done. What's that? Just a dog. Calm down. I hate them. Hurry up. That was not just a dog. Is that noise? Quiet, quiet, little doggy. Oh, we won't hurt you. What are you saying, run. little dog? Yeah, run. What? Oh, 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 me run. Okay, I thought we were. You want to cut insane? Okay, 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 okay. Oh, easy enough. Okay, cadets. Ooh, what's back there? It looks dark. You know, I, I would have already fucked you up with my bare hands if I wanted. Sir! Well, hand. What a wild thing to say. Why? Yeah. I mean, why the fuck did you throw away the revolver? It would have been useful. I mean, a girl, I, I, wouldn't, I would never. But I will brag about it. Shit. I'm just letting you know. Tell me something. I'll beat the shit out of you. If you're God's chosen one, why didn't God heal you completely right yeah. away? That's a good question. Here's your answer. Here. It works in mysterious Here. ways. Got a little bit of a tremble there. Temple of John Damascus Bazov. The only rational remedy for from infertility, insobriety, fidelity, infidelity, and other physical complications and afflictions of the soul. The cadets. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Come on. I don't understand. So God had enough power only to stop the rotting, but. To heal you completely, he needed some kind of tool. Look, it's not, it's, it's not about the tool. 
man can't be saved against his will, you see. Basically, look, it, it has nothing to do with my arm. It's about the path, mm. the path we've been given. And whether to follow it or not, it's up to us. It's interesting that a nun is asking mm, questions like this. It? So, possessed people are taken to the Kajets? Everybody is. What's in there? Do I look possessed to you? No, n not you. All right, let's get out of here. Hoist me up. Me hoist you up? Yes, you. You won't be able to pull me up from up there. <laughs> <laughs> Tough nun. Shit. Ilya? Where'd you go? Are you alive? Ilya! Yeah. Uh, all right. Yeah. yeah. What's going on? He's not talking to me. Hello? Come on. What is he doing? Hello? What is in here? Oh. A pit of despair. Can we... Oh, I can't jump in! I wanted to see what was down there. Nothing. Well, she won't jump. Okay. Oh. Are they just... Is this like a shit shoveling shed? What is this? Yep. Okay. Here? Of course it wasn't a coincidence. And now Indica realized it too. She had heard about the Kudyats and its miracles. Who's that? But right now, in Spasov and Ilya, meeting a prisoner who talks to God but not to be an everyday occurrence. Also, Indica took a liking to him. And this one? <laughs> no. One way or another, she there was certainly him. no doubt that she had to head for Spasov and not the Danilov Monastery. <gasps> the letter! I cannot neglect my duty. What if there's something important in it? Open it. See for yourself. No. I'm reading someone else's letter. It's a greater sin than not delivering it. Greater? How much greater? Twice as much. I don't know. <laughs> Interesting. So, not delivering two letters is the same as reading one. What about stealing? Pocketing a ruble, for example. Is that worse? Worse. How much worse? This is nonsense. You can't compare such things. Why not? The priest imposes a different penance for different sins. And since you know for sure which is better or worse, there has to be a way of measuring. Then let us say that stealing is ten times worse than not delivering a letter. What about murder? Let us put that at a thousand letters. That would mean that if a postman were to lose a sack full of letters, we'd have a murder. <laughs> Although, maybe there should be a bulk discount. A <laughs> bulk discount? What about a rapist? Jesus. A rapist is better than a murderer, right? I think there's a fine line. Oh. Uh, it, no, it all sounds bad to me. That. You are not scared of the sin. You are scared of the letter. Perhaps you should not open it. Do not do it. Oh, but no, I want to. We are tempted.
Oh, we sinned. <laughs> you don't even have anything to say. The abbess knows you inside out, so everything turned out just as written. <laughs> Defrocked her? How did that happen? <laughs> even a Dakia wasn't... Me oh, she praised the like the man who fell among thieves. No what? So she squeezes it so hard that her hand is bloody. Yeah, daddy's gonna send another postcard for Easter. <laughs> Shut up! This is cool! Sins and transgressions, and by answering he deeds. Many options. Oh, well done. Oh, I see. <laughs> what is he even saying? <laughs> oh my God. I'm <laughs> no pun intended. I'm in love with this. <laughs> Even if the kill was enough to take on and knocked her off, but you! <laughs> First, you got pushed out of your house, and then out of the monastery! <laughs> what is he even saying? Why is there a big bowl of here? Your penitent and make me as one of my hired servants. Because of thy boundless mercy and compassion, I dare to approach the Eucharist. Receive me as thou dost love. And it will get returned. Sorry, she's not here anymore. People's creativity just blows me away. Where have you been? Where's the dog? Good question. I haven't heard it for a while. Listen, I'll help you get to Spasov. Is he still... is he still talking? Is he muttering? What is he muttering? Uh-oh. I hope my game's not bugged. Maybe he just does that? He just mutters? Somehow, Indica was convinced that the Kudyets was going to solve all of her problems. That soon, the voice in her head would disappear and she would return to the monastery as someone who deserves at least forgiveness, if not everyone's love. She thought that years of suffering had been leading her up to this exact moment. Who is this guy? What? Okay. I figured out what this place is. This is Denisovka, the paint factory. Marfa told me about it. She, she's our iconographer. They make yellow paint in that shed. Hold the phone. Oh, sorry. He talks to God, right? The devil is supposed to be my companion. What if he's not the devil? What if this voice is? And they're just alluding to him being the devil. But he's in he's talking to me in my melon. That's my companion. Oh and he does really talk to God. And he's like some fallen angel or something. I don't know. I I can't wait for May 8th. This full game comes out in May 8th. Ah, uh, so intrigued now. Oh, this is broken. Ooh. We can only pass through the dam. What's back here? Where is Sneaky everyone? Sneak. There was an explosion. They say everyone was evacuated in one day. Americans, I guess. Very likely. Or the English. Anything in here? Secret secrets? Find out. Oh, over there. 
What the heck is going on in this story? The Unburnt Savior One more proof of the miraculous power of God's grace. The fire has destroyed everything in the house, but the icon of the Savior was left unscathed. What is that? It's like a slot or something. I don't know about unscathed, but it's impressive how intact it is. His face is perfect. Oh wait, did I take it? There we go. Get my my nun points. Fascinating. Anything around here? Huh. Like there's a house over here. Is this one open? No, it's boarded up. Is that a guy? Oh, did he? Did he? He died trying to carry out all of his stuff when he evacuated. Greed? Ooh. One of the sins? He's greedy? Trying to keep all of his stuff? It looks like they evacuated in the night, too, because he's got his jammies on. And he tried to run away with all of his stuff? Oh man, he does have a lot of stuff. He's a hoarder? None points. Oh! <gasps> We're almost there. Humility. You get a chance to gain 60 points. or A chance to gain 60 points right now. Or every time you get points, you gain a 1.21 multiplier. I might not get 60. I'm being greedy now, just like that guy outside. As if it matters, Jesus. Just click one. The dude does have a lot of stuff. What is this? Hen I don't know how to say that. Hen Penhagia? Pen Pen he I'm sorry. Saint Christopher hails from a wild mar mar <laughs> Maramarikai tribe? Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Its wolf-headed people were extremely tall and often exhibited terrifying behavior. This, however, did not prevent him from reaching the Christian faith. Uh, preaching the Christian faith, rather, accepting the baptism and dying like a martyr. Huh. Ta-da! None point. Okay. Uh, I think... I think that's it? Where's- where's the dude? Where'd old dude go? Hello? Another house here. Are they bassinets? And bunk beds? Is this like an orphanage? The life of Saint Metropolitan Sinust? Once a demon had possessed the hair of a Saint, saint Metropolitan Sinust. His hair began to stand up like twigs on a broom when it was least expected. During his services, Sinus Mitre would jump up, scaring the parish. 
No matter how much he prayed, the demon would not let him go. One day, Sinus made two holes in his mitre and tied it to his head with a string so tightly that when he started the liturgy, instead of raising the mitre, his hair burrowed into his head. Since then, Sinus became meek and short-spoken, like gave himself a lobotomy, and the demon had to look for another host. This is how God taught the demon a lesson? What about poor Sinus? I hope I'm saying that right. Sinus? Is that a true, is that a story? True story? I don't know. I don't know what you call it. Fable? Passage? I'm saying words. Just saying words now. There are a lot of children who lived here. Is it common to hang your baby from the ceiling? Is that a thing? Must be like a house for orphans. Ten points. I don't know. Oh, they were even sleeping on the back of the fireplace. It's a pillow and a mattress. Just putting them everywhere. They could could sneak one in. Was it just a family? Holy gamoly. Is that a different woman in each picture? Good god, man, leave her alone. I can't tell. She kind of looks different in every photo or picture. Hmm. Wild. To each their own, I guess. Where did that dude go? Hello? What is his name? Ilya? Can't remember now. So where do we go now? Oh, there he is. Stairs! There should be a station behind the windmill. Where where are you? Did he get stuck? Oh, okay. Oh, uh-oh. Oh, I can't reach. Oh, do I have to... Here we go. Here? Ah, okay, 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 okay. Won't work with me. Wrong uh, way. Oh! Won't make it. Hold on. We'll think of something. There he is. Just teleport it over. This one? Oh, we pulled the gate down. Okay, okay, okay. <gasps> Exactly what we need. You're welcome. Huh. All right, come on, handsome. What's that? Oh, no. He's back! Oh god! <laughs> you missed! Dumb bitch. <laughs> Why are you standing around? Alright, I really like him. Dogs down to water, huh? <laughs> I don't know. I'd wait for a couple of hours, just to be sure. Oh my gosh, they're funny. A couple of hours. <laughs> Dumb bitch, he says. That's funny. Oh, it's a bad. Mm. The stairs are broken. Oh. We'll have to go through the mill. Oh, I picked the right way then. I guess. Oh, we're going 
going down. We had this one artist in the clink. He drew his family on the wall with his own shit. What? They look so lifelike. What? I beg your pardon? He was like that. Didn't manage to finish the drawing of the daughter, though. Le left her with just one eye. Stink eye? He got stabbed. Sorry. Because of the stench? No. He, he was drawing on the wall outside. It was minus 30 degrees. Shit doesn't really stink when it's cold. Oh, fair enough. He got stabbed b because, well, it's against the code. I would say it's against every code to draw it with your own, um, shit. That's just me. So well, where do we go now? The elevator. I suppose when you got nothing else to do. I don't know. I don't think anything could ever possess me to do such a thing. I can't do it. Does he do it? He must do it. It doesn't fucking work. Nothing works here right now. Language. Okay. So I gotta fix it? Something goes in there. Here's the gearing! Planetary gear set by... By blocking one of the wheels, you can change the direction of the shaft rotation. I see. I guess we should look for an intact cotter. I see. And by we, do you mean me? While you stand in the... That one's broken. She said intact. These are cotters? Inserting this into the groove between two mechanical parts ensures torque transmission. Okay, so we gotta find a whole one. Oh, up there. Okay, okay, okay. How do we do that? This guy, I bet. Yep, yep. There. Ah. Nice. Ah! There we go. The holdup is you're not helping, sir. Uh, the life of Saint Jonah. In his first years as a monk, the reclusive Saint Jonah lived with Opidus? Opta... Optus. <laughs> I don't know. My brain doesn't want to say it. A shrewd old man known for tempting his brothers and trying their patience. Jonah was no exception. In the morning, Optatus would hide under a bench and jump at him, screaming. In the refectory, he would yell and hurl dead flies and soot from the furnace into Jonah's food. When Jonah was praying, Optatus would shriek and slap the prayer book from his hands. And before going to bed, Optatus would scream and hit Jonah in the stomach with a hot firebrand. Uh, this man needs to be taken out. That is... wild behavior. It's a cotter! A safeguard! It breaks when there's an oh. overload! To protect the important parts of the engine! I see. Why do you so know so much about this? A nun? <laughs> oh, there we go. Control Il Whoa. Ilya? Oh! He went up! Down! I can't go down! Something's in the way! Oh! How do I. Does this fit? Does it. Whoa! Does this reach? jump. You can't grab my hand? No, you're just gonna stand there and smoke. Okay. Helpful. Um. Ah! I'm going up! Oh! 
I see the little... There's those scratchy marks, paint marks. Okay, okay, okay. Easy enough. Go down! Going down! Ha <laughs> ha! Wee! Okay, okay, okay. Hello! It says loud. Okay, whoa, God. I'm hitting the wrong buttons. Oh, but geez. I told you, we should have gone around. Ever been to the circus? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. Oh, I hit the wrong button. I can't believe I didn't fall. Oh, God. Okay, run! Oh my god. Oh, love of Pete. Uh. Go, 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 go. What? Well, that was violent. You know, I wonder. I'm supposed to jump down. I saw that beam. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Oh, God. Go, 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 go. Alright, not this one. This one. Yeah. Go, 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 go. Ah, I tricked him. Oh, God. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Get him. Oh, go. Shit. Go, girl. Go, 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 how did he get over there? Oh, I'm sorry. I don't even know. Uh, hello. We killed it. I thought deserved it. Oh my it's bad. God. Sinful. There are no sinners among dogs. Only humans can sin. That's so Tempted brutal. By the devil. And that dog, its humans left, stopped feeding it. So it became a matter of survival. Interesting. So what's the difference between a human and a dog? The thing you're blaming the devil for is as likely to happen to a human as it is to a dog. It gets angry when its food is taken away. It's ready to tear anyone apart if its possessions are threatened. A dog gets sad if its beloved human is not around. It gets jealous, anxious, even sodomy as possible. What? Remember that one time when Georgie... That's different. What did Georgie do? Survive. To find the most promising partner, give birth to offspring. And a human? You have such a simple explanation for a dog. But how come humans can never do without divine or devilish intervention? I could have played that for hours. I am so ready for May 8th to come. This looks so good. Let me uh let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I think this is gonna be really good. Thank you so much for joining me today. As always, take care of yourself.
and we will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.